And there's 30 million football fans in this country. There's only 60,000 fans could have gone to that game. There yeah, were a bunch of louts running around Leicester Square, smashing up Leicester Square, doing we're what they want. About, we're talking about the group who are going into the stadium. Yeah, but we're talking about the overriding aspect of how people behave around football, whether it's the fans that turned up at the stadium disappointed because they couldn't get in because the ticket pricing was too high, or it's the Herberts running around Leicester Square doing what they want. There's a balance to be struck. And there is no mitigation. There's no saying, well, the ticket prices were too high, and that, that gives any form of... And I know, I know you, you're not justifying it, but you're no. explaining it. It doesn't need an explanation. They're morons. They need to be marginalised. They don't need an explanation. And if we can be bothered to even understand how they think, then there's something wrong with us. But it's happened for years, this. So well, it's not it's not something that, that and there was, shocked me. Or actually, I, I maybe I expected it on a bigger scale. It wouldn't have surprised me if seen it on a bigger scale. Right, I've the, seen... I've seen loads of finals where fans storm the, and get and get in, and probably you know we've had tragedies because of it. In, in to be past. honest, I my, I'm not condoning. You're right, but what I'm saying is, it if that's the that to me is less worrying and less concerning than, than the morons who are. Why, sending... Danny? We've seen what can happen when there's a storming of a stadium. Albeit there was only a couple, maybe a okay. couple of hundred. Yeah, I mean that was that. that some, I mean, to some extent, that was down to people not doing their jobs. I mean, yes. Again, Simon, Danny Mills has been in touch this morning, Jim. When we were leaving the Sky Compound last night, cans were being thrown. Not because I was on, I get that, but Martin Tyler took a lot of abuse. Throwing stuff at him. Why does this happen? He's right. Idiot. Why yeah, but, does but, this happen? But, but Jim, there's it, it, almost something tragic about this because if we can understand why it would happen, then there'd be something wrong with us because there's nothing, there's no reason why you'd want to understand that or you can relate to it. There's no reason. If somebody wants to say to somebody, you were crap for missing a penalty, mm. that's entirely their gift. And that's yeah. the world that footballers live in to take that kind of observation. But if they turn around and say that there's something to do with your colour about the reasons why you missed that penalty, you can't want to explain or even seek to explain it. These people mm. need to be marginalised in society. They don't need to be focused on. They don't need to be highlighted. I remember years and years ago, and I know this is not the greatest example, but years and years ago... when what do England you mean played, they don't need to be highlighted? They don't need to be highlighted, Jim. You know, the, the fact of the matter is, years and years ago, when England played at Norway, different subject, but same scenario, England played Norway in a World Cup qualifier, England fans fighting on the terraces, all the cameras went to watch the fans and talk about how disgusting it was, rather than say to these people, you're not even worth highlighting, giving the, the light of day to. You have to get context. Well, also, and not show it. What do you want the well, camera I think to do? That, I think. Well, I don't think the we'll camera. Nice I blue sky. No, Jim. Simon, but, that's ridiculous. No, no, Jim. Why are you but, saying that we don't, we shouldn't highlight uh, the social uh, uh, media abuse? It's somewhere no, in between, isn't it? Somewhere in somewhere between is what between. I'm saying, Jim. Somewhere be in between. Because because there is a delectation and a delight in in the media suggesting that this is no, there's this not. Is, well, oh, Simon, Jim, no, don't give me that. Jim, I watch I watch Sky's, a delectation I watch, I watch Sky's and coverage. I watch Sky's coverage of the Manchester United fans coming back for the next game, desperately waiting for something to happen so they could follow it around and highlight it, rather than suggest is something okay these fans are this and these fans are that we have to get context and of course i understand your point and your point is right that you can't just sweep it under the carpet but we also have to get context people are trotting out a narrative that some somehow this tournament has has united the country well the country was united in 1996 when people were watching the, the european championships in 96 the country was united in 2018 when we played in in the russian world cup it isn't just because gareth southgate has made stances and people have taken knees at the country's united it's because the team is winning and people are behind the team as a country as a country we are in the majority absolutely a unified balanced fair equitable non-racist country. hang on a second last week you sat in that chair yeah. and you called England football fans I did. the best fans and I in the world. And I qualified it too, Jim. I said, exclude the minority that seems to be the focus point. Mm. I can't I can't legislate for a minority of morons. But of course that, they're not Jim, the and it was best small, fans in no, the world think, because they've just mis, embarrassed the no, majority. Uh, hold on, Jim. You cannot single out the minority and suggest that represents the majority. That's that's ridiculous. If you've got 100,000 fans and 100 of them are absolute turgid little turds, that doesn't mean the 99,900 aren't the best fans in the world as far as I'm concerned. Watch, uh, Simon, look, do me a favour. Every country so Spare me, spare me. Spare me. Okay. Thousands booed the Italian national oh, anthem. Jim, yes. And they do it in every country, hold on, Jim. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. A, a good couple of hundred... Try to storm Wembley. Well, can we keep them in isolation? And did. Yeah, can, can we keep them in isolation? And did. Just because I think I think if you're talking about booing a national anthem, it's unfair to put that as a similar behaviour to to crashing your way into a stadium without tickets and causing mayhem. I think they're two very different things, don't you? Why is it unfair? Well, because you're putting them into the same um, under the same umbrella. I, I Should think, it happen? I think it's just part of football when you Should do. it happen? Uh, no, but it, it's inevitable. Southgate has called on you not to do it, and called on England fans not to do it. Gary Lineker 
on Twitter get people, caught people, for it Gary, by saying please don't do it it does not show England fans up in a good light and yes it still goes on people's behaviour isn't dictated to by Gary Southgate Gary so do you just accept it you'll take it you, you accept it if I was playing for England and I was playing anywhere and singing our stand and your fans were booing it wouldn't bother it's me it's disappointing yeah it it's disappointing. Disappointing. It, it's disappointing. But, what, but, we, but it's not the same. But what we're I'm escalating saying, it. It's not, I'm not saying we're it's escalating right. it. How are we are you, escalating uh, it. Simon. We are escalating it. How are we escalating it? No, because can I just say that what I'm saying is that we, we're There's talking, nothing to escalate. We're talking about well, three subjects under one umbrella. Yeah. And, and I, I think you have to deal with each in isolation because booing the national anthem is not like sending racist abuse, is it? No, of course you know, not. Do you know no. what I mean? So let, let's put them in perspective. It's not ideal. I think respect for national anthems would be great, but it's not going to happen. Mm. So why ask for it? Because it's not going to happen. It's just it's fair. It's it's fairy. It's it's make believe world where everyone's lovely and nice and soft and fluffy. It's not going to happen. It's football. It's and that's very true. So you just got to accept that, it. No, Jim. Yeah. But there are certain things in life you have to accept. You don't have to accept people running in the stadium and, and fighting in front of kids and women because they haven't got tickets and they think they can do what they no, want. No, we don't. Exactly. Definitely shouldn't we don't have, have to accept, accept that. that. And we certainly don't have to um, accept right. racist abuse. But we. I just, but I you just, think that that's for the media's delectation, Simon? So you know, I, like I think the, I think, the, the, I think the, at times the coverage. Of I think that. I think the times the world that we're living in now, where everyone's terrified walking down the road with a mask, because the media had a field day. No, that's nothing to do with anything. But it is Jim. Last night. It is Jim. Last night. Hear me out. A bunch of England fans. Got in without tickets. A, t- a tiny minority, a, whole bunch a, of them, tiny, a tiny a whole minority bunch of fans them with tickets decided this shouldn't happen, so Grant they turned is. on them. Well, so they, they, if you're I'm, standing there with your young son and you're watching that, is that acceptable? But, but no one's. But, but I wouldn't be fighting. But, but no, one is suggest, no one's suggesting it's acceptable. But you can't then superimpose it and say that ultimately that's reflective of 99.9 percent of fans. But you know, wonder suggest- why this hooliganism tag never seems to go away when it comes to because we're very fans. good we're very good at self-flagellation you've got people in South America that shoot bleeding referees you've got people in Italy that do fascist sync signs left right and centre and are, and are far more motivated by certain agendas that we wouldn't even tolerate in this country but they do not self-flagellate the way we do we take great delight in running ourselves down yes our society isn't right and yes things need to be attended to but we're talking about a tiny majority of fans that need to be absolutely marginalised and not enabled to be poster boys for saying that English sports fans aren't on the whole which is what I said last week tremendous sports fans because they are Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Thursday morning 10 till 1 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport